In this video, we'll take a look at the brand new Comfy UI Manager. This is the manager which allows us to install nodes. It's been radically redesigned with a lot more functionality. And we can see quite a lot of these custom nodes now have got a little bit of branding going on there uh, with the thumbnails. With the new manager, we can click on a thumbnail. Let's choose this sexy looking one here. And we can see this is the Comfy UI Detail Demon. We see how to install it. We just click there. We can see details about the last update and whether it's active or not. The nodes. We can see some information about the nodes here that it uses. The description, the repository, the license. It's nice to see the license there. Uh, a lot of students just don't care about licenses until, until someone knocks at the door. Uh, we can look at the multi GPU option. And these are the details there. We can see the nodes. Hopefully this one hasn't been updated maybe uh, with the with the images. So there's a lot of functionality and it is really nice looking. And this is all based on the new user interface being developed for Comfy UI. There are also significant updates in the manager in terms of how security functions. So you've got more security happening in terms of which projects are allowed through and which ones are now not up to the standard for security for Comfy UI. So with this bad boy here, we can see that it provides a suite of custom nodes to manage multiple GPUs for Comfy UI, including advanced model offloading for both GGUF for the uh, unified format and safe tensor formats like Distorch and Bespoke multi -Jeep. GPU support for WAN video wrapper and custom nodes. Now I know what that's all about. And there's a lot going on here and it looks nice. It just looks uh, more comfortable, more comfy than the previous version. I like this. I like this. I think this is a really nice development. Now, um, there are other functionality. There's other functionality here. Obviously, we've got the installed and not installed. We've got the in workflow missing update available. And the other thing to bear in mind is that uh, what I'm doing here is actually running this as a brand new installation of Comfy UI that allows me to test these things on a brand new installation. I'm using the uh, extra. I'm using this bad boy here, the extra model paths, just to use a base installation of Comfy UI as my reference point for all the models. And that base installation is going to be the one receiving the models that I install. So that allows me just to have one place where I'm keeping most of the models that works because it saves a lot of storage space. You don't duplicate things, but it allows me to have more than one installation to have plenty of installations and to test out the new features, which are all going to rely on the new back end and front end for Comfy UI, which is a radical shift. Now, if we close this here, we can go and see where you get it. We click there, we go to manage extensions and with a new installation, I can see all of the uh, custom nodes there. You'll notice that the menu I icons there have gone for the manager. I've actually not installed the manager in this version of Comfy UI that there is no custom node where the, the manager is installed. So I've removed the cost, the, 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 the manager entirely. I'm still using the old cut, the, the old comfy UI installation with all the stuff installed. And because they're all linking to the same place, I've got the models. Got all the models still available on that other base installation of comfy UI. So I like working this way because it does save a lot of space. And I think with uh, the limitations in resources that we have, uh, with all the shortages happening, I think that's a gr grand way of working. So I'm also able to access the older version of Comfy UI's manager. And the older version is still here. I can use that as well. It is available under the same menu, but there's a switch that I use to switch between the old and the new one. And um, yeah, this is the old one. Still got all the same functionality. 
that we had there. So this one has different functionality to the new one. So it's very useful to be able to switch quite easily between the, the two of them. Let me show you how I have uh, arranged it. Now, the way I've arranged it is that when I run the batch file, and I use Windows Terminal, so I, I run it in a slightly different way to the majority of users who are using the command prompt. Uh, but it does exactly the same thing, more, more or less. So if we hit, hit enter, I've created a version of the batch file which allows me to choose between the new manager and the old manager or to quit. And this is just really useful for being able to play around with these two new versions whilst I'm getting used to the newer one. And uh, if you if you are on one of the paid courses or one of the paid lectures, you will be able to access these these files. They don't replace the old, they do replace the standard batch file, but uh, I'll have one for the accumulated, the fast FP16 accumulation. Let's see if we can access Q. See if I can identify the accumulation one. Yeah, I'll have one for this one as well. So you'll be able to choose uh, w w which direction you go in either the fast accumulation one or inside of the uh, inside of the standard installer, but or oh, standard run. So that's basically where we are. And what I want to do is to take maybe a look at how we get get it to run, uh, how we install it all, and get it to run even without installing the custom node. Thank you.